Good afternoon. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day three of theCUBE's live coverage of HPE Discover. We are kicking off day three of our three days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. Kicking off this morning, we've got three guests this morning. We've got Hong Tan. He is the COO, Hybrid Cloud HPE. Welcome, a CUBE alum. Many yeah, times we met, last time me, we Rebecca. met him in yeah. Barcelona. Also, Sophia Fallon. She is the head of Connected Recycling at Ericsson. Welcome, Sophia. And Pavan Bashwal, head of Ericsson Wallet Platform at Ericsson, thank you so much. So I want to start with Hong. Why don't you start to tell us a little bit more about the work you're doing with Ericsson from a hybrid cloud perspective? Yeah, and you know, uh, obviously Ericsson has been a long-term partner of ours and you know, they're a leader in networking and telecommunications, so we've been supporting them for many years on that front, but um, you know, uh, we've also had the privilege of helping them expand into uh, growth, other growth markets, and uh, you know, in this case, uh, in the area of, of uh, financial services as well as connected recycling. Um, and you know, both both in the both cases, it's very much aligned to our vision of the world, which is that the world is hybrid, that it's edge centric, and so you know, we're working with Ericsson on a, uh, leveraging our portfolio of capabilities. Uh, across the hybrid cloud stack to enable uh, them to deliver services in a highly available, highly scalable manner um, that is very flexible, that is you know, as, a, as a service based. Um, and uh, you know, we're very excited to both you know, uh, provide the infrastructure and the software, but also help uh, advance the cause of financial inclusion and sustainability. Oh, two, two, two really hot topics yes. here at this conference this week. Pavan, I want to bring you in here. Ericsson is obviously one of the, the biggest names in networking. How did it get into the digital wallet space and why, why did you choose HPE as your technology partner here? So over a decade back, we tried to see what we could do for our customers in Middle East and Africa with respect to their offering for financial services with financial inclusion in the mind. That led to us creating our software, which is Ericsson Wealth Platform, that is today deployed across many markets in Middle East and Africa. Through our journey, we realized that regulation and data and security are key principles to have a successful financial services deployment. And it is there we industrialized a solution with HPE from the switches to the stack to the storages to the rack, right? And that has what has led us to the monumental growth but also create a trust-based setup where our customers could then leverage our technology and create a massive ecosystem for themselves. So thinking about what you just said with trust in mind, financial inclusion in mind, what are some of the biggest use cases and most successful use cases that you've seen? Absolutely, so when we started off, transfers and payments were the key drivers to grow the uh, financial traffic, right? But as we took the evolutions, we saw use cases such as remittance, use cases such as merchant onboarding and payments, to today evolving to more advanced financial services use cases, be it overdrafts, be it lending, be it e-insurances. And that has been a journey that we have seen over the decade that many of our customers have adopted to, and it does not stop here, it's going on to more advanced financial services as more growth happens in our solutions. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, Sophia, I want to turn to you. Tell us more about Ericsson Connected Platform. I know it was introduced here at HPE Discover along with a dizzying array of other announcements, but why should we, everyone be so excited about this new innovation? Because we're going after a world without waste. A world where we see waste as raw materials, and raw materials need to be recycled and traded. And that's what we offer, full tra traceability from waste material to new product, as well as a trading platform that allow that raw material to be responsibly transacted. So tell us more about the, re the connected recycling and what, what it, how it works. So essentially, it is a SaaS platform. Uh, which makes it very available. I mean, we can start up a new customer here today. It's that quick. Um, then essentially we do two things. The, the, the very starting point is to help a customer, say a big hotel chain, a big retailer, or even a hospital, um, to understand how they can start segregation of the waste materials so that you actually treat them as materials from, from source. And then we connect them through our platform into buyers of that material. It needs to, of course, be consolidated. You need to optimize it for logistics so you don't burn all your raw material revenue on logistics costs. But then you connect those to buying recyclers. But we don't stop there. Those same producers of waste 
they should also buy back recycled raw materials, right, to ensure we have a sustainable financial value chain. So they then, we help them and their procurement organizations to also start sourcing back recycled content. So then you have a pull effect from recyclers, more buyers of recycled content, and you have more suppliers of recycled feedstock. So th then you have circularity. So tell us about some early business outcomes. So uh, when it comes to, for example, a very big hotel chain that we are now uh, supporting, we talk about uh, reducing more than a million dollars annually in waste management cost uh, and, and uh, turn that into two to three million dollars in raw material revenue. So, and it's the right thing to do, right? And, and thereby we also have carbon uh, uh, um, emission calculations. So we can certify that that is in fact a net positive impact on, on, on the environment. But at the same time, it's a net positive impact on your wallet. Then you have sustainability. You don't treat sustainability in an environment like a charity project that will sooner or later die. You need to have it financially sustainable as well, and that's what we're doing here. And it's not difficult, because it is a raw material. It has value, you just need to connect the right actors in the ecosystem, and that's what we do. We use digitalization, we use our SaaS platform to make it widely available. And, and, and this is the real question, because it, it sounds as though customers understand it's not only the right thing to do, it's also the financially uh, responsible thing to do here, too. Correct, Excellent. and it's a bit the same in many uh, environmentally correct environmentally focused projects like energy efficiency. Use less energy, it costs less, and it's good for the environment. So if you understand the complexity of environmental projects, it's typically life cycle. You think you do the right thing here, yet that has an impact here and here and here later on in the supply chain. So that is the complexity that we are really addressing. Uh, it's that end-to-end -end perspective, the beginning all the way through to the end, so that we can ensure it was a totally positive impact for the environment and the wallets. So Hung, we're hearing this is, these are such exceedingly complex problems, yeah. but, but, but also the ones that need to be solved. We need companies, organizations need to take on these challenges. Why in your estimation is, is finding the right IT partner essential for, for, these, for, for, for tackling these kinds of challenges? Yeah, that's a great question. And I would even reframe it as, you know, what, you know, um, right business partner, because we, we, we like to think uh, HPE is not just an IT uh, partner, but we're really business partners, right? When, um, you know, Pavan, Sofia, they're breaking new ground. They are disrupting the market, they're disrupting their own core, Ericsson's core business, they're also disrupting the industry. Um, and so, w when you're looking for a partner, you're looking for a, a true business partner. Um, and and we so we can co-innovate on co-innovate on the tech, technological side of the house, but also co-innovate on the business side of the house, right? So, um, you know, we've partnered very closely um, in the beginning. Actually, it's actually um, the uh, connector recycling is a great example where we actually uh, helped Sophia's team incubate their technology. Um, in the case of Pavan, you know, it's it's a more mature, established offering, but he's trying to innovate from a business model standpoint, right? To, to pivot from um, you know, the current offers to targeting enterprises and having a more modular approach to their offerings. And you know, we're talking about, hey, how do we jointly innovate on the business front from a go-to-market perspective? So I think, I think that's, that's where I think you know, when companies are truly trying to innovate, truly trying to disrupt their respective industries, they should be looking for a true end-to-end -end business partner that can help them um, through the, over the overall life cycle of that innovation, but also help them innovate on the, on the go-to-market side. So we're fully committed to, to you know, helping both of them um, you know, take their business to the next level. Well, it takes, it takes aligned cultures and mindsets yeah. and, 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 and forethought too. So, Pavin, I'm going to actually ask all of you this. What is next for this partnership? I'd, I'd like you to start with you in terms of financial inclusion. I think financial inclusion is one aspect, Rebecca, and we're also looking into financial convenience, especially with digitization, more millennials trying to use more digitized way of transacting, and how our technology that has worked very well in markets can be more looking into more mature markets, especially with enterprise, be it big box retailers, be it digital banks, who are wanting to kind of look into new solutions, brick and mortar, wanting to transform their solutions, and it is there where we see that the next journey for 
of financial services is for Ericsson. Excellent. Sophia, what about connected recycling at Ericsson? Yeah, so right now it's full focus on the first markets that we're deploying in, a really scalable project. Uh, we thank HP for inviting us here to Las Vegas. Uh, and this has been a great starting point for what I believe is going to be a very exciting journey in North America. And there is, for everyone here who's at HPE Discover, there is a booth back, uh, just over my shoulder yeah. uh, where people can actually get a, get a taste of what it's, what yeah, it's all exactly. about. Yeah, exactly. We have a nice stand over there where you can try out the latest technologies, see our platform, recycle in the Tomra machine. We announced that partnership as well. So, so it's been a very exciting time, and HP has introduced us to many different uh, potential customers here as well. So yeah, we've got very positive feedback. So we're very excited to go into this scale-up deployment phase now. Excellent. With a global ambition. <laughs> I'm going to give you the last word here on, on what, what's next. Well, I mean, you, you, you've been here the last few days and you heard about our announcements. Obviously, big bets in AI, big bets in, in the cloud and the virtualization. Um, and you know, we'd love to partner with Ericsson to help support them as they grow, leveraging the full breadth of capabilities that we just announced today so that they could really focus on business innovation and we can provide the infrastructure and the software capabilities across our hybrid cloud stack. Um, you know, so that we can take that off the table and help them innovate. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you all so much for being here. This has been a really fascinating conversation and frankly inspiring too, yeah. to hear about the, the various use case of technology for good and really figuring out how to tackle these very big, hairy challenges. Excellent. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank so, you, Rebecca. Sophia, thank Pavan, you. And, and Hong, thank you so much. I'm Rebecca Nate. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's live coverage of HPE Discover. Keep it right here on theCUBE. We are the leader in enterprise tech news and analysis.